Hi, I'm Jeff Spinoga. I'm the CEO of Exploits Discovery. We are focused on discovering high-grade orogenic gold in the beautiful Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. We have accumulated one of the largest and most strategic land packages in this area. We are well-funded with over $11 million in cash and well-supported by legendary investor Eric Sprott and Newfound Gold. Most importantly, we have a talented local experience team who are aggressively executing on our exploration plans this year. Jeff, thanks for coming aboard. Uh, first time we might have spoken, so um, I'm really uh, excited to hear this story. So Newfoundland story, we've heard a few, we've seen a few guys kind of come through. Um, you, you've kind of got that almost first mover advantage uh, component to you, but it, it hasn't kind of taken off yet. And I'm, I'm, I'm sort of intrigued as to why. So are you happy to have a conversation about that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. that's great. Well, look, yeah. why, why, don't we, why don't we start off with um, you? So what's your background? Where are you from? What have you done? Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> well thanks, Matthew. For me, uh, love being on the show. I, I love the the questions you've asked. Uh, so, really appreciate uh, taking the time today. Uh, for me, I've been mining for about uh, in mining for about twenty five years. Uh, I really uh, got att attracted to it uh, when I first joined Barrick back in nineteen ninety eight, uh, working on project financing uh, projects for Peter Monk, uh, you know, in Africa and in South America. I uh, learned a lot. Um, Part of the acquisition team for for homestake and then then i went on to become the cfo of hudby minerals for a couple of years uh, which was great moved my family to winnipeg uh, great great city um, and then uh, moved on to be uh, uh, cfo of north uh, north american palladium uh, then uh, golden star and then torx gold building a project down in mexico uh, 800 million dollar project on time on budget so that was uh, that was a good experience um, and then uh, CEO of uh, First Mining, uh, so did that. Uh, and then I became the national mining leader for Ernst & Young for a couple of years. And then uh, people asked me, am I gonna come back to the industry? And I, I just thought, you know, I, you know I, I was looking for the right opportunity. Uh, and then to work with uh, great individuals in, in Gander, Newfoundland. And uh, when I went to see, the, see them, I just knew that great people to work with, experienced and know the area. Uh, they wanna stay in the area. They wanna see a big gold discovery, uh, like with Newfound Gold, uh, because it keeps uh, keep people employed. And if we can create a whole mining industry in the province, that'd be uh, tremendous. So for me, uh, for a number of reasons, uh, uh, cash position was, was adequate, was good. Uh, Eric Brott was in, uh, uh, Newfound Gold was invested in, in the company. Uh, a good board, you know, really happy about, uh, and we, we've done, we, we've built up things uh, over time. Uh, we can talk about that if you like. Uh, but yeah, really proud of uh, joining this company and, and where we're going. Right, okay. Um Few, few names we recognize in there, Eric Sprott, Newfound Gold, um, you know, some places that you've worked at as well. We, we, we've had those companies on here too. Um, so, right, that, that's the background. You, you joined in August. Uh, September. To, oh, September, right, okay. Yeah. To do what? what? What were you briefed to do? Yeah, so so my, my mandate uh, is to, uh, is to find a gold discovery. Uh, and so, so what I've done since that time uh, is uh, actually there's a lot of things. Uh, I'm not sure I don't want to take up all the time, but um, I guess the first thing that we did was focus on the team, uh, the local team, uh, and make sure that we had great talented people, uh, and they're all local, which was fantastic. Uh, and actually, recently we were able to attract uh, more geologists and more prospectors uh, to our team from other larger exploration companies because they like our land package. And I think they like to think they like uh, our leadership model as well, which is more about alignment. Everyone's got a voice, everyone has a say, uh, and we, we're pointing in one direction. You know, one thing I learned from uh, Peter Monk is that uh, there's nothing more uh, powerful than a, a passionate, inspired, motivated, uh, talented team, right? So I think that's, uh, that was very key. Um, and another thing is that focus on the land package we have, you know, it, how do we, how do we approach all this, all these claims, all these, uh, how do we, how do we explore? Um, it, or how do we go through and see which, which is the, the best opportunities? So what we did in uh, starting in January is we stepped back and created a founding document, I call it. It's 200 pages of how to explore for gold in Newfoundland. And uh, I was attracted to uh, great minds like uh, Dr. David Groves, uh, a tremendous individual in Australia. He's written like 500 research papers. Uh, he, uh, he was actually voted one of the uh, top earth scientists, I think what top 100 earth scientists in the world. Uh, and uh, just a great individual. And we had weekly calls. And then we had sort of a presentation from David to our team uh, because Australia, you know, they're, they're well developed. They found many large gold discoveries. And when you look at the same type of uh, orogenic structures, uh, deep seated faults that we have in the province. It's almost like the early days of, of Australia. And some people say activity. So focus on, uh, on, on the research, focus on the, uh, 
uh, uh, the, the intellect that we can build up, the human capital, uh, the IP that we, we have. So we've done that for about four or five months early this year, and we call it Exploration 2.0. So what we do is we look at a bunch of criteria that is aligned with the research that David has, also aligned with uh, Goldspot. Goldspot's been a tremendous contributor because of the, the knowledge in the area. The, the, the got, uh, I think we got the top talent there helping us out. Uh, we also have great partners like uh, Geotech and uh, Simple Geoscience, uh, local pro prospectors. They all had a say on this document. Uh, and then the government uh, geologists also, uh, uh, we had a session with them to walk them through the document. So everyone kind of contributed because uh, Matthew, you probably know that I, I had the view that it takes a village to, or a community to to kind of help uh, a company uh, find something significant. Uh, so so that's, I, I'm, I'm big on collaboration because I do actually want to find a large organic gold deposit uh, in the province. So, uh, so what we've done with that knowledge is uh, we've gone through, we, we kind of triaged and scorecarded each of our prospects. And surprisingly enough, or not surprisingly, uh, it kind of uh, brought us back to the interpreted applicant fault and some of the displays that kind of came off it. So those are the, the targets that we're focused on. You know, we've got three targets on the Northern interpreted applicant fault, and we've got Titan, which is sort of like the Valentine fault off to the, uh, off to the east. So, so with respect to a mandate, uh, going back to your question, uh, you know, built up the, uh, the technology, understand uh, how we can do better in terms of uh, accelerate the time frame. Like other companies that knew found goals who became a billion dollar company with their goal discovery, it took a, a couple of years. So, so what we're trying to do is trying to accelerate that if we can. Uh, and it takes time, it takes time, it takes money, it takes resources, but we're looking to uh, go as aggressively as we can. Uh, and make sure that we're, we're providing uh, uh, the best shareholder value we can. Right. It, sorry, expression two point zero. I mean, it sounds to me like it's a, it's kind of a kind of reboot in in, in a way. So I get that Eric Sprott twenty five, just over twenty five percent shareholding. You've got Newfound Gold fourteen percent shareholding. Yeah. You know, they they they're. They're kind of having a portfolio approach in a way. Eric certainly does um, in terms of it's the, the amount invested here is nothing to him. And I suspect for an option play for a new plan gold, it's, it's quite good news too, um, potentially if it all comes off. Um, but it sounds like the team before you came along perhaps weren't focused on the things they needed to be focused on. Because I referenced it earlier. It kind of feels like your first mover advantage in a, in a meaningful way, but the team hadn't delivered on that. It's, I mean, what, what were you seeing when you walked in? Yeah, I, I, I think the, 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 the context of background behind that, uh, to be fair, and this is before my time, right? Uh, but, but there was a, there was a lot of euphoric, uh, situations where a newfound gold, they, you know, stock price, uh, went up a huge amount, the market cap, uh, you know, uh, Eric bought into, uh, to Xbox Discovery, uh, they just hired the team. Uh, and so I think, you know, stock price, I think went to a dollar fifty, dollar sixty. Um, so, it, it's, it was really, um, it was all like, okay, let's get on this, right? And so I, I think there was a lot of uh, euphoria with that. And again, this is before my time. I wasn't present uh, with the company when that happened. Uh, but, but that's, you know, putting it in, in proper context, I think. So, so stepping back uh, was, maybe not stepping back, but I think stepping forward is probably a better term uh, because actually embracing all the, all the uh, good discoveries we've seen in the province and, 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 le and the learnings from that and actually doing our own homework and some of the claims we have and looking at some of the trends uh, was really important. Uh, so I honestly, I'm really proud of the team. Uh, you know, it, it's just the team has been executing so well this year. And because I think we, we have we have the document now and that's it's not a like a one year document. It's going to be a document. It's going to it's going to be a living document that probably lasts the next five years. No, right? I, 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 hear, I, I hear you, yeah. Jeff. I hear you, Jeff. And, and I agree with that. There's a, the Newfoundland gold rush, as it were. You know, it was it was a kind of crazy time for most Newfound Gold um, companies, off the back of what Newfound Gold had, had done, which was this extraordinary, um, you know, presence in the market and people, you know, looking to them um, as a, as a, you know, the arbiter of success, I guess, and and you know, it's, and it's been brilliant, brilliant story to follow for sure. Um, but a lot of small companies jumping on the bandwagon, creating a lot of white noise and creating a lot of distraction. I think you even talk about it in your, in your PowerPoint. You know, you've got three pages there saying the evolution since uh, the beginning of 2020 is this is extraordinary. But I'm more more interested in what you, ex Barrack, and your CV found when you walked in and say these are the bits we can build on. These are the bits which are not important. These are the bits which are. 
and where do you go? Do you know what I mean? So I get the team's yeah. fantastic and, and collaboration is, is a wonderful thing. I agree with that. I like that. And, you know, looking elsewhere in the world for, you know, ideas is, is good. But I'm interested in what you're yeah. going to do with the money you've got available. You've raised one and a half million yeah. bucks recently. Some people, you know, questioning why, why you did that. So what was the plan? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. No, and, and, uh, again, looking at where we were and, and the support we had. Um, so, so creating that foundation of growth is, was really important. So now, I mean, the good news, Matthew, is that we're in the executing stage now, right? We've, we've got the team. We are, we are start, we, we start drilling a Titan. I can go through the reasons for that as well. Uh, and, uh, we, we've done <clears throat> expensive, <clears throat> extensive field work. Like we, the team has been traversing all of our claims. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we are, we are finding interesting courts and, and, and things like that. Uh, so, uh, and we've, we've done an 11,000 soil sample program, uh, along the interpret applicant along the three targets. And once we get those assays back and actually analyzed, you'll see that, uh, it's like smoke, right? The smoke will follow the fire. So if we can trace back to the hotspots, um, that would indicate that, uh, you know, better drill targets or enhance our programs or even generate new targets uh, in that area. Um, so the, the work is being done. Uh, the the money is going into the ground. Uh, you did mention the, the $1.5 million recent flow through. So um, for, for me, it's, I think it's prudent uh, from, from a management perspective, have adequate treasury. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, you attract great people, uh, make sure that the company is well funded. Uh, we did have our flow through from last year kind of uh, almost uh, running out by end of August. So we actually replenished it for another 1.5 million. Uh, we had two large funds uh, that participated. Uh, one of one, uh, one was uh, spot asset management. So uh, a big supporter, they were the largest in that uh, issuance. And uh, so the, the key is to maintain a, a healthy, prudent treasury so that we can continue on the systematic approach. Because again, we've got one of the largest land packages uh, in the province and it's gonna take some time, uh, it does take money. Uh, but the team, I gotta tell you, is executing the programs that have been laid out in this uh, Expiration 2.0 uh, document. And it's like a playbook, right? So the playbook is going, we're scorecarding, we are learning. So as we go along, like we did this L5P study at Titan, you know, new technology sees deeper in the ground, uh, more detailed information. Uh, it did have historic drilling there already uh, and some not bad intercepts. So so what we did is we said, OK, well, it's, it's got some uh, nice rock surface samples. It's got historic drilling. So we know gold is there. Uh, we've got the new uh, IP study. Uh, and so what, what we're drilling now is we're testing uh, the, the interpretation, uh, the con conductivity and resistivity uh, of that IP and actually seeing, are we seeing, uh, are we seeing quartz? Are we seeing sandstone? Are we seeing the trends that they saw historically go down? And they only drilled, I think, down like uh, 60 to 100 meters. And we're going down probably about 250 to 300 meters. So uh, it definitely warranted a follow up. So, so to answer your question, Matthew, um, you know, creating that founding document, Expiration 2.0, Build up the team, adequate cash, uh, well supported again by Eric Spot. He's got about eighteen percent after the issuance, and Newfound's got eleven. So, um, so, but, but, the, the, my my view is it's full steam ahead for us, uh, and we're we're executing. So it's it's uh, it's actually a really good time. Okay, so I I like the phrase playbook, right? Because that, that that's interesting to me, and it's also interesting Eric didn't follow his money there, um, because like his his money spread far and far and wide, and uh, you know, yeah. and he he's not been picking up warrants um, on, on quite a few plays this year. Um, but with Exploration 2.0 and the playbook, it begs the question is how do you play this? Because you've got, where are you, 15, 15 16, 17, 18 million bucks, depending on the time of day, market cap. You've, you raise a little bit of money because you've got a bit of, bit of breathing room, right thing to do for sure. 15, yeah. 15 million down from the highs, you know, 10 times lower than, you know, from the, I say exuberance of, of last year, but you've got to play this right. You've got to play the markets to be able to raise the capital that you want to do the things that you want to do. And you've got to also play the geology right. And you, you've kind of got to get that balance right because you're going to need the headlines to kind of raise the interest in the market. And yet your team's going to want to do things the right way. You're going to want to do things the right way geologically too. So how do you, how do you balance that? Yeah, if I could kind of rephrase that a bit, because the, the way I see it is that uh, we're not necessarily playing the market. We're, we're actually building a foundation of growth, uh, and, and, and knowledge. So, but, um, but you know, you know what I mean? I think when, when in a junior, junior space, when, it, when, when you money, well, one man's money's tight, when, you know, you're, you're, it's a small company. 
the the yeah. headlines kind of drive the interest, which drives the liquidity, which 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 drives the the value, you know, creative value for small companies. You need a, and that's not unusual. It's it's, it's you know it's it's complex. Yeah. There's there's a place for it. I'm not yeah. saying it's a bad thing. Um, but I also understand from, and you've kind of reaffirmed it to me, you want to do things the right way. So, again. Yeah, yeah. so the, the way I kind of view it, it is very simply like a ship. So uh, we're building the ship. So the last uh, sort of four or five months, we've been below the deck, you know, creating this foundation uh, making sh of the ship. And then now what we're doing is we're, everyone's grabbing an oar. The sails are starting to get some wind behind us. We're, we're uh, blowing a bit on the sales as well. We're creating awareness for the company uh, because we do feel we have, uh, you know, uh, the, the the right intellectual property uh, going forward. Um, and and the key thing for for us, Matthew, is that we're it, it's great to to find a goal discovery, but it's more importantly to understand why you found it and then to replicate it. So so it, so from there, I mean, if we could replicate three or four goal discoveries on the back of one and then increase our knowledge base, uh, then we're creating a company, right? That, that, that's a company that, uh, you know, I think the mining sector hopefully can be proud of uh, the province of Newfoundland, our own team, uh, because we've, we've started to unlock, uh, I mean, I know it's a coin term, but unlock the value of wheel, but, but you have to do the homework. Uh, you have to do the work, and so and, and before you start talking to people, you have to t you have to do the work. So we we've been doing the work, and uh, and and understanding what happened last year, and then why we're doing better this year, uh, and then uh, but just just going to take some time. Like new found gold took a couple of years before they found their gold discovery. Uh, and it's going to take some time for us. Um, I like to say we're going to get one very soon, but you know uh, I, I, I we we have to do the work and we're doing the work. It's, well, it, like, it's, it's a fair point you make. Yeah, um, you know most I think a lot of geos go through their whole life having not made a discovery, so it's harder than people understand. So how are you defining a discovery? Because again, we've had companies come on here after one hole and go, we've made a discovery. I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I guess, you know, there's a, a discovery with a small D, discovery with a big D. Uh, and so um, I, I think the, the key there for understanding what a discovery means is the follow up. So uh, is it open at depth? Uh, is there a trend? Is it an isolated uh, area? Are you going to put a mill with satellite deposits? Um, so, um, and we're, we're st it's still early days uh, in the province. Uh, like again, uh, if we, I would love it to be like Australia, where they, you know, big gold discovery after big gold discovery, uh, and then uh, it, everyone's learning from everyone else. Uh, and because I think this one thing I like about the mining sector is we're, we're very collegial, right? We, we do want to see others succeed as well. Like, of course, we're working hard, extremely hard for our shareholders. But um, to, to see uh, the, the whole province benefit, Canada benefits, uh, and, and even uh, other parts of the world that we can maybe use this technology uh, that we're building up uh, would be great. No, I, I, yeah, obviously, like, you know, we need all of the above. Is, is a, a cry most often heard on this channel for sure. Um, look, so t tell me, tell me precisely how you're going to be efficient with your use of capital. Why is every dollar spent um, the best way to spend it, as far as you're concerned? Yeah. So, so uh, when you have a large land package, you have to. That's why we employed this scorecarding technology or scorecarding for each prospect. So um, if you look at the nine to 10 points that we have, they're all either have a check mark or an X. Uh, you can sit on our website. So go to our, go to our website. I think it's like page 15 or 17. We actually apply that to the, uh, the Keats discovery as well as Big Vein. So you actually can, you know, we're disclosing some of what we're doing uh, uh, with that, this, this uh, you know, intellectual property, if you will, Exports 2.0, but on our, on our presentation. So look at page 15, then look at page 17, where we actually rank our, our new targets. And you can see there's there's a lot of check marks. It doesn't mean that we're going to discover gold at each one, but it, what it means is that it increases the probability and increases the uh, the, the chance. Uh, so so the key thing is about planning to be successful. Um, it's great to be lucky, but we're 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 planning to be successful with with the work that we're doing. Uh, we can't control what's in the ground. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Mother Nature gave it to us. Uh, we might acquire, uh, you know, with, with what the knowledge base that we're building up, we might acquire other claims, uh, in, you know, nearby to us, what we think might be a little bit better than our claims. Who knows? Uh, we might drop some claims as well, uh, release them, if you, you know, into, to, in, into maybe other hands. Uh, so, but that's part of the evolution. Uh, and uh, that's part of the, 
the, I guess the playbook or uh, the, the plan. So, so it's, it's a constant process, right? It's a constant process. And, and uh, we, we kind of have a leadership model that uh, we seek alignment. So everyone has a voice, everyone uh, can, can say what, what their views are. And uh, it's not by consensus, it's by alignment. Uh, and so that, that way, uh, I think we're attracting good people to our company. And also I, I think it, it's gonna accelerate because the more, uh, uh, more forthright people are uh, with their views uh, internally and maybe externally too, uh, speaking to us, I think this is going to accelerate uh, the probability of us having a, uh, a goal discovery. Okay, there's there's something. No, I appreciate that. Um, there's something that you, you talk about you, you occasionally in your in your literature, um, which is AI. I'm always intrigued by this. I, I think the sector needs more technology and uh, new, new ideas coming along. I mean, how are you? Applying it for, for what you're doing at the moment, because it doesn't seem like enough sort of data points. So, so, so how how precisely yeah. are you uh, uh, applying it? Yeah, it, it, I'm glad you brought that up because it's all about good data, right? So, so collecting data, putting it into the models. Uh, we use Goldspot for that. Uh, I have to say, I'm very happy with the, the team we have at Goldspot. Uh, we've got Peter McIntyre, who is uh, used to be the uh, VP of Exploration for Newfound Gold. So he knows the area. Uh, great. Uh, he's become a, a good friend as well. Uh, uh, Belinda, who is, um, oh, sorry, Brenda, who is a, a chief geophysicist. We have her. Uh, Lindsay, who's in the field as well. So we, uh, they're, they're applying, we, they have access to all of our data. So, so they're, they're doing the, uh, um, the, the analysis, the interpretations, uh, and they're probably applying a bit of AI. And then we get feedback when we do our, when they do our presentations for us. So each of the regions, uh, Goldspot has been doing presentations to us. And we've, we've still been having sort of uh, weekly or every two weeks calls with uh, David Groves as well. And then we also keep in close contact with the local prospectors. Uh, and so, so again, hopefully we're becoming that central hub uh, of information uh, that we can apply on, on, our, on our land package. So, so I, I won't, I can't get too detailed into the AI because it's not my field of expertise, but that's more of a the gold spot technology. Right. Okay. So, look, I mean, given this is sort of an introductory meeting, I'm, I'm, you know, we're kind of getting a rounded view of, of the company. I've seen a lot of names I recognize in there, like um, Bill Sher, for instance, part of the mix here, and a lot of uh, consultants, part of the collaborative approach that you're talking about. Who's actually doing the work? How many, how many names are active here and how many are kind of name play? The, the collaboration is important uh, because when we, uh, this, again, we look at this 200 page document, um, you know, Peter McIntyre has looked at it, uh, uh, you know, Geotech, we've talked to him. And so um, it's, the way that we, we, Doug, Doug Cater, we brought Doug on the board actually, because Bill actually, he's, he's running a different company right now. Uh, so, um, so Doug Cater, uh, he was the one that did uh, due diligence on Fosterville when he was at Kirkland, uh, for Eric Sprott and team. So, so extremely knowledgeable about the orogenic model, uh, extremely well regarded, uh, happy to have him. So, uh, he's head of our, our technical committee. So, so we have our head of our technical committee. Uh, we've got Ken Tiley, who is an excellent geologist. Uh, honestly, I picked him up uh, back in April. He was working for McEwen, uh, former Gold Corp, former Placer Dome. You know, not only is he extremely experienced, he's an extremely nice guy. Uh, when I post on LinkedIn that I, I hired him, I got 17,000 views, uh, like 64 comments saying he's a good guy, great geologist, good work. So, uh, so we've got, we got Ken, we've got, again, Groves, we've got Goldspot, we've got Doug Cater, uh, we've got our, our local team, uh, you can view on our website, uh, and, uh, picking up some, some really good people that, um, want to work for us. So, uh, we've had hardly any turnover, uh, because I think they, they like the work, they like the vision, uh, they like the, uh, the longer term playbook, if you will, and like the way we're kind of, you know, going through the scorecarding and saying, we're not wasting our time. We're, we're, we're trying to be as efficient as possible about what goes in the ground, when it goes in the ground, uh, and then follow that, right? Is a follow-up necessary to be pivot to something else? Um, so one of the things you probably heard uh, in terms of being successful is persistence, but also failing fast. So, um, so we're, if, if it's not worth going after something, Hey, we've got a pipeline, right? So, so you, you just put it back in the pipeline until maybe it comes back up again. But we've got um, some good, great targets that are growing in prominence. So, uh, which is great to see. It is, which is part of the excitement, right? And this is part of the, the the mining life cycle, which I find the most attractive. It's the pre-discovery part 
right? So, um, and, and this potentially could be the most value for shareholders as well. And how do you remunerate these guys? I mean, obviously, small companies, small budgets, et cetera. Is it just, is it just options? And you think that's a sort of reasonable way to remunerate people? Uh, no, we're, we're, we're competitive. And I think we, we, we probably pay a little more than the, the other uh, exploration companies. But, um, but yeah, they, the, the fact that they're, the reason we do that is because we, you know, they're, they're passionate, they're inspired. Uh, they're, they're just great guys. And, uh, I love working with them. Like, uh, I try and get to the province as, as, uh, as, as much as possible, uh, to see. It. But I know Ken's going more often now because he's the VP of exploration. And, uh, but no, it's great. Uh, so they, they do get options. Um, we, as new employees, employees join, uh, we do give them some options. Uh, we haven't refreshed our annual grant uh, from last year. So, I mean, you know, so so some of the options are expiring, some of the warrants are expiring. Um, and I know our share price is, is at, at these very attractive levels. I almost view our share price like a, like a base as well, like our, like a, because when you have a market cap of 15, 16 million, and you've got 11 million in cash, you know, it's a pretty good foundation, right? So a pretty good attractive value. So I love it. The, the- that's an optimist right there. I, I like that. Very, they are very attractive. Right? So no, um, no, I, I like that. Um, okay. And with regards to um, yourself, I mean, when you when you came on board in September, were you asked to buy shares in the open market, or were you just handed shares? I mean, how, how does it work? How did they get you on board? Uh, yeah. So, so I got some options. Yeah. Uh, you know, you first join a company, you get options, which is which is great. It's at a much higher share price. Um, so, um, but I've been buying the market. Um, I've been buying you know twenty five thousand here, fifty thousand there, because again, I, 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 I mean, I, I view us as very very good pricing right now, uh, very attractive. So. Uh, I, I think it's uh, we're good value for what we're doing. Uh, we are we've done all this great work the last couple of months. We are executing on the plan. Um, I know the market in general is down, but you know what? We're full steam ahead. Yeah, and you, you've got you've got the budget to do what you want to do for the next, next period. Where, where does that take you through to in terms of needing to go and ra- raise additional capital? I I, pre- I appreciate your explanation yeah. about the non brokered one point five, right? Yeah. But where does that get yeah. you through to all of this money? Yeah, well, it, I guess um, it, it's hard to tell because if we find something at Titan, if we find something at some other, uh, we get a second drill. I mean, the need grows, right? Uh, and then so you might have, we might raise some money because we've got good news. We've got something we've we're, we're on the on the cusp of hopefully uh, following. Um, having said that, I mean, we're you know we're an expiration company, so from time to time, uh, like this deal we did from one point five, it was uh, non brokered, no commission, no warrants. Um, it was a small dilution, uh, so it allowed us to use, continue to use flow through funds. Uh, so it was um, it was an attractive and two large uh, investors. Uh, so it was uh, it was great. So uh, from time to time, uh, we'll, we'll look to do some some deals that are very uh, shareholder friendly uh, to make sure that they're small, uh, control dilution, um, and uh, yeah, and, and just continue to to do the, the great work that the local team's doing. Right. And so, did you say two institutions came on board there? On, the, yeah. on that raise, right? Okay, and that's what you yeah. feel that you need right now, institutional, not retail. No, they they um they, they fund junior companies, uh, but one was Sprout Asset Management, and they're, they're they, you know they're very knowledgeable and they're very supportive, and they're up to six percent, I believe, uh, of our company. So, um, no, it's great to have them, uh, great guys, and uh, and that's what you need. I mean, they understand where we're going, uh, they understand the playbook, uh, and uh, it's good. Yeah. So we're so from time to time, I mean, again, we're, we we don't make any revenue at this stage. Uh, we're we're all about. Uh, finding gold uh, in the province of Newfoundland. And the faster we can do that uh, with our programs, uh, the better. So that, that's the key. Okay, brilliant. Look, I like, appreciate you coming on and sort of introducing, introducing the story to us uh, and, yep. and our followers, subscribers. Um, Good luck, good luck with the exploits. And you know, I know you're, you probably feel like an old hand now. It's been, uh, it's been nearly a year. Have, do, you feel, do you feel like you've done what you, what, have you, you feel like it's been a good start to what you wanted to yeah. try and achieve? Oh, well, I, I think, you know, what, what kind of drives me is uh, I, I like to, I like to build. I, I like to develop. I like to continue. I like to, uh, uh, so, so for me, uh, this has been, this has been great and we're just going to keep it going uh, because hopefully this is just the first inning of a nine innings uh, game, right? Uh, but you need to get the right batters, the right pitchers. You need to get everyone on the mound, uh, uh, and so um, that's that, that's where we are. So it's uh, it's good. No, I'm I'm actually I I can be more pleased to be honest. Uh, I mean, it just 
everyone's working really hard in Gander. Everyone's in the field. Uh, we're executing our programs. It, it's these are the good times. I mean, I know that Mark, Mark is down, but we're executing, uh, and that's the key thing.